Hi, it's me, Lindsay. So I have recorded this countless, countless times. And my phone either like kills it and eats it or my kids come in and bust in. I'm hiding in my closet again. So um, anyway, I wanted to update where we are a month post balloon. I'm going to make this short because I have truly made like six or seven videos and for some reason they just keep getting killed by my phone and I don't know why. I think it's time for a new phone. Yay! Anyway, so um, today would have been the day that I had my gastric balloon removed had I waited the entire six months. I had it removed a month early because um, I was too sick, losing too much weight. Um, I started at 191 pounds uh, in February. So it's been almost exactly six months since I started this whole whatever. And, um, yes. So I went down to 127 when the balloon was removed and I jumped on the scale two days ago. Um, and I do not like to weigh myself. It gives me great anxiety. I do not like doing it. Um, especially when things are on the upswing, obviously. And, um, I knew I was going to gain weight back. I knew it. And here we are. I jumped on the scale two days ago and it was at 137, uh, 138, somewhere in there. And here's the crazy thing. Uh, it gives me great anxiety. I weigh as much as I did when I was 13 years old. And I have great anxiety about gaining weight. I thought that this whole gastric balloon thing, like once they took it out, I knew, I knew that my weight would have to go back up because... Um, I weighed 125, 27, 28 pounds. Who cares? When I was 11. So when I was a child. <laughs> and um, my entire adult life, I've weighed on the small side around 150 something, like 155. Like for my wedding, I weighed like 150 something. And so this is the thinnest I've ever been in my life. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Like since I was 11 years old. 12 years old. And the crazy thing is, is that I feel fat, which is stupid. It's stupid. So I was making this video, not only because people say, you know, there's all this information about when you have the gastric balloon in or getting it or something, but there's very little about when it comes out. So here it is. I'm making this for you and I'm making this for me. Lindsay, don't feel fat because that's stupid. That's dumb. It's stupid. But here we are. I mean, so when you have the gastric balloon in, or at least when I did, I was not hungry. Not at all. So I didn't have to, I was mildly ill most of the time. So I didn't have to think about what I was going to eat. Now, I'm. you got to be mindful, obviously. Otherwise, you're just going to pile the weight back on. So it was very nice to not have to think about planning your next meal or what are you going to eat next or blah, 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 blah. Now I have to really think about it. Like, oh, I need to make myself a solid now. Oh, you know, I need more protein or uh, I need to do this, that, or the other thing where when the gastric balloon was in, I could make anything for my kids, my husband, whatever. I didn't want to eat it. I couldn't eat it. Otherwise I would be massively sick. And, you know, I could just go about my day. It was, it was so freeing. It was so nice to not have to eat or to not have to think about it. It just freed up a lot of space in my brain. It freed up a lot of just like time, like in general. And um, it would be sort of like not having to use a restroom for five months or whatever. And it just freed up a whole lot of time. Think about that. How much time do you spend eating or thinking about eating? Uh, when you have a gastric balloon, or at least when I did, I didn't think about it like ever. Unless it was like, oh my God, I need to get more calories. Now it's like, okay, well, I'm going to do this handful of arugula and then here's this and, you know, good fats, bad fats. And, you know, it is. It, it's, it's sort of disheartening and it sucks. It sucks. I'm sorry. This is, this is not like the enlightening video of life insofar as, you know, what this looks like. When the balloon comes out, you're going to be hungry again and you're going to have to think about it. And, and that's no fun. I don't like thinking about it, but here it is.
So anyway, I've been trying to do a lot of salads. I still don't eat after eight, which sometimes is really hard unless I have a really good reason, like, you know, a family dinner. Or, you know, I went out with my girlfriends for my birthday because my birthday is in a couple days. Ugh. I'm going to be 27. No, no, I won't. I'll be 38. Anyway, so, so that's, that's where I am feeling fat, which is stupid. And I feel stupid about it. And, um, I thought that I would be past this. Like, yay, I'm a, I'm a healthy weight. But I still think about like, oh, uh, if I eat this apple with peanut butter now, well then, you know, you got a budget for the day and it's just, it's exhausting and I'm, I'm tired of it and it sucks. So I don't know. I wish they'd, part of me is like, just put it back in, like forever. Like, just make it real small or something so that I don't have to think about this anymore. So anyway, um, I'm going to see if, when I stop this, if the video gets eaten again. But hopefully it won't, and I will be able to post this. Anyway, I hope everybody else is doing really well. And um, I'm fine. It's just, it's exhausting. My brain is tired. My brain is tired. Anyway, so that's what I got. Uh, take care. Bye. Oh, please, please, please don't get eaten.